Today marks 10 years since the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. The flight was carrying 239 people when it disappeared mid-flight while traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing in 2014. Since then, it's become one of the world's greatest aviation mysteries. Malaysia's prime minister says he'll reopen the investigation into the disappearance if compelling new evidence emerges. Jonathan Head with our partners at the BBC has more. Well, it's been exactly 10 years since flight MH370 departed from Kuala Lumpur International Airport. And what everyone thought was a routine flight in less than an hour after it departed, all communication, all electronic signaling from the plane was shut down. There was a routine goodbye from the pilot. Nothing has been heard from it since. That lack of data, there was only a little bit of satellite data that told people the plane had turned around about 180 degrees and headed way south into the Indian Ocean, but it didn't give a very specific area. There was a huge international search, 26 countries involved, lasting around four, four years, but didn't manage to find the plane in an area about the size of the United Kingdom. For the last six years, there's been no search effort at all. It's been enormously frustrating for the families, very painful for them as they deal with the anniversaries every year of this unexplained loss. Now we're hearing the Malaysian government is negotiating a new search with a specialist American underwater surveillance company. That search could take place as late as early as perhaps later this year. There is also new analysis of the data that's going on at the moment, this very skimpy data we have that hopes to pinpoint a much narrower area to search. If that area turns out to be accurate, and there's a lot of new technology now for searching underwater, there is a higher chance now of finding the plane than there was in the past.